The NPP is aspiring to contest 14 out of 19 councillor seats in the Kanifi municipality, leaving five seats for an allied party, the APRC. The aspirants, accompanied by senior party members and supporters, submitted their nomination papers one after the other amid jubilant fanfare outside the IAC premises. The aspiring candidate for Bundum Boho, Lamin Sanya, spoke on behalf of his colleagues. He explained the purpose of their bid and their hope for victory in the elections, scheduled for the 15th of April this year. My expectation for this uh, councillorship, everybody know when you look at the statistic of the presidential election in Bundung Bohol Bantaba, uh, we happen to score over 13,000 votes in Bundung Kakunda constituency. For that being the case, that upper hand, together with the support of APRC coalition, uh, come April 15, this is my short analysis. It will be a magnanimity. It will be a historic, historic victory for Sanjali Sanyang and come Marindao for Simutani Sis Johnson and the rest of the 14 wards. The IAC returning officer in Kanifin, Joseph Colley, shared the nomination papers will be verified further before deciding on their bid to contest the elections. You can go up and see the way the verification is done. Because all those people that nominate APRC, you will see under their name APRC. NPP, NPP. So they cannot, once it is put in the system, it will flag it. That this person has already supported this. So he, cannot, he or she cannot support another somewhere. So that is, so it's very scientific. It's there, we do, we do it in the database for everybody to see that this is transparent and it is, it is just free and fair. Yes. Monday's nomination exercise was scheduled for the NPP and NRP, but the latter chose to abstain, perhaps in support of the ruling party, the NPP. Ibrahim Ajalo, GRTS News.